Some try to find excuses for the new exercise by citing the safety of the 150,000 Filipino overseas uh, foreign workers in Taiwan. While China is the last country that wishes to see conflict over the strait because people on both sides are Chinese. But we will not renounce the use of force. And we reserve the option of taking all necessary actions, necessary measures. This is to guard against the external interference and all separatist activities. The Philippines is advised to unequivocally oppose Taiwan independence rather than stoking the fire offering by offering the US access to the military bases near the Taiwan Strait if you care about the 150,000 overseas foreign workers. This is the statement of the Chinese ambassador to the Philippines, Wang Shilian, during the 8th Manila Forum in Pasig City. His words, however, became controversial following Senator Risa Hontivero's statement, saying that the ambassador should not threaten the overseas Filipino workers currently in Taiwan. Hontiveros even went on to urge Malacanang to ask China to send their ambassador back to their country. But the Chinese embassy to the Philippines said that the interpretation regarding Ambassador Wang Shilian's statement was wrong. Here is the context regarding Ambassador Wang's statement. Facts speak louder than words. Obviously, the U.S. Need, <coughs> intends to take advantage of the new Etka sites to interfere in the situation across the Taiwan Strait to serve its uh, geopolitical goals and advances anti-China agenda at the expense of peace and development of the Philippine and the region at large. Many Filipino politicians and ordinary people are questioning whether opening new bases will serve the national interests of the Philippines. Quote, why are the new exercise only as those are thrown away from Taiwan? Unquote. And quote, how will the Philippines effectively control the pre-positioned weapons in the military bases? Unquote. Quote, <coughs> why will the Philippines fight for another country through the new Etka size? Unquote. These are so searching questions of the Philippine people and also doubt by people of China and the region. The National Security Council, or NSC, in an interview with Azimanai's Pulso ng Bayan, or Pulse of the Nation, on Monday said that they want to give the Chinese embassy the benefit of the doubt. Oh, well, of course, uh, we will give the benefit of the doubt, no, uh, sa Chinese embassy tungkol dito. Uh, pero kung babasahin po kasi natin yung transcript, uh, mukha na mga ano, maliwanag sa ating uh, mga kababayan, even sa press, no, mm. uh, na... May ganong statement na sinabi yung kanilang ambassador. But nonetheless, no, dahil maayos naman ang ating pakikutungo sa kanila, eh, we will give that the benefit of the doubt. But for former palace spokesperson attorney Harry Roque, he said he sees nothing wrong with the Chinese ambassador's statement. Well, ang sinabi po ni ambassador ay pawang katotohanan na kapag nagkaroon ng gira, eh talagang kinakailangan, eh, pangalagaan natin yung ating mga kababayan sa Taiwan. Alam mo, walang kinalaman yan doon sa desisyon kung papapasukin o hindi ang mga kababayan natin sa Taiwan. Yan po ay desisyon ng Taiwan. Hindi po yan desisyon ng People's Republic of China. Yan po yung konteksto na pinay Ambassador Wang. No? So ang konteksto niyan, bagamat Taiwan ang uh, nagdedesisyon kung papapasukin o hindi, of W, din man po pwede pigilan niya ng China, no? eh yung sigalot na pwedeng mangyari sa kanila pag nagputukan at nagiging mainit na nga po itong usapin ito, eh talaga naman po ang unang-unang biktima dyan ay mga Pilipino sa Taiwan. Huwag na po tayo mag-denial. Yan po'y katotohanan. Yan po'y dapat paghandaan na. Dahil hindi na po parang mababago mga pangyayari, mabilis po mga pangyayari, mukhang mangyayari nga po ito. No? Even former Chief Presidential Legal Counsel Attorney Salvador Panelo said that the Chinese ambassador is only giving an advice to the Philippines regarding the additional EDCA sites or U.S. military bases that seem to be stoking the tensions in the region. 
kung baga, eh, siya naman eh, bilang tinatawa ng China, pinapayuhan tayo. Kasi daw yung pagtulong natin, we talking fire. Eh, hindi ba yan? Ang, eh, yan ang, yan ang sinasabi na rin natin. Mm -hmm. Na habang beneficial yan, mm -hmm. eh, nagiging mapanganib din. Mm -hmm. Kasi nga, oh, nagre-react yung isa eh. Panelo added that the Chinese ambassador should not be given a persona non grata. Ang ganito lang, ganun kasimple. If you are in the position of uh, that ambassador, will you be saying the same thing or you, will you oppose the foreign policy of your principal? Ganun lang kasimple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Attorney Roque is urging the Philippine government for a moratorium in sending overseas Filipino workers to Taiwan due to the heating tension in Taiwan. At uh, hinihimo ko na po ang ating, mga, ang ating gobyerno, ano na ba ho yung ating mga hakbang na ginagawa na naghahanda para i-repatriate natin yung mga 150,000 ng mga Pilipino. Ngayon, napakadami po niyan. Ha? Hindi po yan pangyayari overnight. So sa tingin ko, dapat ngayon pa lang mag-deklara mag, mag na tayo ng moratorium sa pagpapadala ng mga manggagawa sa Taiwan dahil umiinit na po ang hidwaan. At pangalawa, meron na tayong dapat contingency plan no? kung anong gagawin natin, sinong susundo sa mga Pilipino road. Nagpapadala pa tayo ng barkong militar para sakyan ng mga Pilipino, ilang eroplanong magagamit natin pag nagputukan. Ang problema kasi pag nagputukan, sarado airport. At siyempre, yung mga naglalaman na na warship na Pilipino, delikado rin kasi baka mamaya targetin dahil uh, alam nila nakaalyado tayo ng Amerika. No? According to the National Security Council, based on the last report it received, Filipinos who are currently working and residing in Taiwan are in good condition. Bali base po sa mga reports nila sa atin ay maayos naman po ang kanilang kalagayan. Although may tension na no? uh, sa pagitan ng uh, China at ng Estados Unidos, ay so far ay maayos naman po ang, mga, ang kanilang kalagayan doon. For God and my beloved Philippines, this has been Sara Santos, Esmenai News.